Hello everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial and today I'm going to teach you the star rotation effect. Now first things first, you want to open your image in Photoshop and to do that you go to File and Open. Then you want to select your image and then once it's in Photoshop you want to select the new layer button which is in the right hand corner of the screen. Press that and then delete the image you just put into Photoshop. Right click it and press delete layer. Select yes. Now you've got a blank uh, canvas the same size as your picture. Then from there you want to select the colour as black. Then go to edit, fill, make sure you've got selected foreground colour and select OK. From there you want to go to filter, noise, add noise. Now from here I've selected 289% because I've got quite a small picture. Now the higher the percentage, the less uh, stars you're going to have, but the bigger they're going to be. And the lower the percentage, the more stars you're going to have, but they're going to be quite small. So select which percentage you want. I've gone for 289%. Make sure it's Gaussian and monochromatic. Then uh, click OK. Then from there, you want to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Now, the radius you want to select from either 1 to, two, uh, to 3 pixels, uh, and that should be fine. Select OK. Then from there, you want to press Ctrl and L, and that will bring up the Levels uh, window. Now from there, you want to select the black arrow and drag it into the middle of the graph. Now. From there you can select the white arrow and bring it over. This will lighten the stars and make them brighter. But for this image I don't want to do that. It might suit your image though, so play around with it. Then select OK. Then from there you want to uh, select Windows Actions. Now people are going to say, oh well I haven't got the star trailing action and that uh, so I wouldn't worry because I'm going to teach you how to put it onto Photoshop just now so to do that you want to go to my computer local disk program files Adobe Adobe Photoshop CS5 presets actions and then you'll see a list here and now you want to double click star trails double click it and it'll bring you back to Photoshop now click the little arrow where it says star trails rotation and it'll hide that make sure you've got uh, everything selected the same as mine so make sure you haven't got the star trails and star trails rotation uh, toggle dialog on them two has to be off and then you want all these ticks but make sure the default actions toggle dialog is on and then select star rotation uh, star trails rotation sorry and then click the little play button wait a few moments to render and then it's done click the little uh, X to take the box away then you want to go back and get your image drag it into Photoshop and onto the image then from there double click it to hold it into place go back to your layers and drag the star layer up on top then from there you want to select screen and then it's basically put it into your image then from there you want to select the eraser tool and take out all the stars make your brush a bit bigger take out all the stars that isn't needed that is covering the objects make it smaller for smaller objects like so and then you're done now from here you can if the stars are too bright you can drop the opacity down so something just like there that would do me now this will suit loads of images uh, you just got to play around with it basically but you can create other pictures like this one in Paris where I've done the star rotation effect which it suits it quite well actually but I mean just play around with it and see what effects you can create with this 
So I hope you liked the tutorial, and please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.